in time for the uh, the capsule PNG. And again, this is my my point, right? Again, that's maybe I I really don't browse. Here, here's what I will say. Um, I really don't browse the DLC mods, and this literally goes back to like 2020. Um. And then again, the reason being is like some people get like weird superiority complexes regarding what mods you play. It's not even an MAS thing. That is part of it. But it, it's also like because people do like their, their tier lists and shit or whatever. And people were doing like mod reviews. And it was like people were just being like, you know, like, let me put it this way. Right. I feel like I have pretty decent tact when it comes to like a lot of these, unless it's something like egregious. Right. Like I'm always going to dog on Fallen Angel. Right. You know, I'm always going to dog on that mod. Um, what, what's another mod that I'm always going to dog on? Um, I mean, I got into the argument with um, the creator of Take Two, right? But that was for like a completely separate reason, I feel like. But that that makes me want to dog on that mod, right? But I, I think, you know, but again, the, the point being like, you know, I feel like the, in, that was why, you know, I was, I was never involved in like really any DDLC communities, right? Um but again, that is part of the reason why, like, I don't really pay, like, maybe they're just completely making up the, the criticism. But again, my, my point being, you know, it doesn't really, my, my, again, my bigger worry wasn't the accuracy of the autistic portrayal, right? But more so just, all right, is that all this game's going to be, or is there going to actually be a story? Looks like we're actually getting a story. And again, I'm completely unrelated. I might, honestly, I really just don't want to play Yik. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I might just completely drop the Yik replay through. I'm I'm debating it. I just again I I really I, I want to say I don't know what I expected, but it's like I just don't know if I have the patience in me to play through that entire game again. Um, I mean it's cool that they changed some of the stuff and added some new stuff, but it, they didn't fix the core problems that the. In fact, the core problems are debatably worse in Yik 1.5, right? But. That'll be something that I'll do like a black screen on um, or something, right? That, that'll that be for a future thing. But for this and what's relevant for now, right, is um, continuing on with this mod. Where did we leave off? Oh, yeah, the, the longest club session in existence. And he's walking back with Yuri, right, you know? Yeah, bitch, I thought you – don't you live separately? Like I was going to say, were you not going to your own house, you know? I was going to say, I mean, you know – do you have any, I mean, that's a valid question, but it's also like, I mean, it's a school night. Like, I feel like, again, it really shocked me to learn that people actually were like partying during like in high school, at least, right? You know, college, you kind of have to go out of your way to not school, right? But in high school, I feel like that was kind of a crazy thing. Um, but yeah, I'm like, you know, unless you have anything specifically. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm like, just, it's a school night. Come on. Come on. I didn't, I didn't read what he said, you know? Damn, what the hell, you know? I beg to differ. I, I was going to say, like, it's like I wouldn't expect to do shit during the week. Damn, fucking fancy-ass staircase, you know? Damn, yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, yeah, what is he doing, you know? I have to go to a 20... Yeah, dude, this guy needs to pay his fucking bills. Like, this guy cannot do anything else until he pays his bills. Like, I swear to God, those bills are going to go unpaid, you know? Just the one, the, what was the, oh, he didn't do grocery shopping, but dude, you got to pay your bills too. I swear to God, like, dude, please got to pay your bills. I swear to God, 408, damn, what the fuck? Oddly specific time. And you're a POV too. So, cause it's uh, uh purple, right? And again, we got the. I don't know if this is the because it, well it's obviously not the OST for new eyes because they just pull all those tracks from elsewhere, you know. Damn, what the fuck? I was gonna say yeah. I mean, but and that's why like you know, well I don't want to say part of the reason, but like you know PDAs. That's why like you know I think people are just like oh you know blow off right, but it's like dude like nobody wants to be like seeing that you know, like. Let's see all right what the fuck now she's just saying shit this is like some this bond we share type shit you know i'm dude like i feel like nobody's gonna care like except literally maybe Walsh. he's the only and that's just because of his relationship with the mc right i was gonna say like he's like probably the only person who would pick up on it right i mean not scary tease you yeah that's why i'm like dude like 
giving him himself, hey, like, you know, what the flashbacks from lunchtime? Oh, yeah, where she fed him, you know. All right, what the fuck is going on? Hello? What is happening? Why Why is he clapping? What's going on? Also, because I think this is the... Because, like, we have gotten our people's POVs, but I don't think we've had the MC in them, right? All right, could you clarify or elaborate? Yeah, dude, I'm like, you know... Oh, yeah, the festival, you know, because it's like... um. Granted, should hopefully be better than last year's, right? But yeah, it's good because I mean, like, because what I will say is, like, I don't want to say we had some. What what did we have in our high school? Every other year, there would be like I I forgot what it was called. I I I, I forgot what it was called, but there would be like a week where it wouldn't be like there would be no normal classes, and you would have all these like recreational type events going on and you the like you would choose which one you went to right so you know it's like again it, it's something to where it's like you know you'd go through all of that or all that there right you know and i'm, I'm trying to remember back like some of them were interesting some weren't i remember i got pissed off because senior year i elected not to go to one during my free period and then i got like none of the other ones i wanted or choices and it's like all right well you know Sorry for wanting my free period, Jesus Christ, but that'd be like probably the most equivalent thing we had. Um, but again, because you know, she's worried about like presenting, you know, and yeah, like given the context of what we know, you know, yeah, like she can just tell, you know, because again, you know, she, but he even he knows that like based on the conversation in club, it didn't go well last year, you know. Yeah, like, but I feel like, you know, he should know, right? Like, or at least have an idea, you know? Damn, holy essay. What the hell, you know? Let's see. Because, like, I mean, I mean, granted, he, here's the thing. He knows he has autism. And I feel like he knows the implication of being associated with the club. Because, like, I mean, at least as of now, it seems like, you know, I don't want to say, like, anyone really knows, right? Like, Wallace is, seems the only to be literally the only person who has an interest in, like, you know, picking on the MC, right? But I don't even think he's, like, he, he was just, you know, it's like, he he's not like, you know, this isn't like fucking, what would you call it? The uh, bully and outcast who, like, went out of his way to, like, go on Yuri. Like, you know, Wallace just literally seems like he just walks by the MC and then, like, makes fun of him and leaves. Like, that seems to be, like, the equivalent. Um... But, like, obviously the festival would bring some exposure to that. And it's like, oh, well, fucking, you know, you got the, this fed kid with the club. Like, what the hell? You know, maybe he's not even thinking that far. But it's something to where there is a reality of the situation for that, um, uh, the association, right? Let's see. Well, why do we always go by this part? Yeah, I mean, it, dude, there are people who are fucking non-autistic who cannot do this shit, right? You know, because what I will say is I, I definitely have trouble, you know, like I'm thinking back to high school. Again, I'm I'm more of an introverted person, like socially anxious, right? But it's something to where you just got to put yourself in those situations. The big thing is, you know, actually like rehearsing, right? You know, like rehearsing because then it's just you're just going through it right it's not like you're making shit up on the spot like i remember what was it junior year english we had to give like some it was so weird because it was an english class but it was it wasn't like your typical english class it was like a lot more i'd say focused on we obviously had our curriculum of reading but there were other elements so like we had to give like a presentation or like a speech right on like a topic right Funny enough, the topic I chose was the, uh, I remember this, it was the global war on terror. Because this was when, like, ISIS was at its peak. This was back in, like, 2016. Um, 
and yeah, you know, I was, I was giving it on that. Right. You know, and I had like my note cards and everything and it went really well. You know, most of the, uh, I only lost like a couple points on presentation. Most of the points I lost was probably just cause I was like making shit up. Honestly, like I, I really didn't know I, the like level of research I did, but again, so that's really the, you know, kind of big thing there, right. Is, you know, rehearsing. Right. And then like, even whenever I've had to do any other stuff of those sorts in, high school college even for job you know presentation right and then it's it's also about structuring i guess it's a bit more difficult because he's doing his um he's just reading off of the poem right but you know breaking it down to sections making it simpler right so See, friends with, I mean, because again, you know, this isn't the previous. And again, like, I'm assuming the previous MC is still in the game, just in the anime club, like, Seagull's referencing. So he just never ended up joining the Lurch Club. Dude, this guy's not going to fucking pay his bills, I swear to God, you know? And then, uh, he he's not even, I doubt he's even got, but I will say, because, like, I do fidget, right? A bad thing I got fidgeting is I have a ridge wall, right? This isn't a sponsorship. But, like, every, like, sometimes I just pulled out my left pocket, like, put my cards out and like go through them, make sure they're all there and then put it back. Right. Like that's, it's just a, like, you know, so that, that's like, um, how, you know, one of the things that I do, right. You know, wait, what'd she say? I don't know anyone like just fidgeting, you know, I feel like that's like even a normal thing. Like that isn't even autism coded or whatever people, um, call it. Right. But, you know, <clears throat> I think the the regular person equivalent is you just like pull out your phone, look at the lock screen or something like that. But you know, why are these thoughts? Oh, is about a feeding him, you know, post lunchtime. Bitch squirrel, what the hell, you know? Come on, I didn't read what. All right, a few more houses. As you say, damn, you fucking live right next to the park, like. I don't know, it's the, the, what is it, the, uh, Jesus Christ, the fucking bright-ass house, you know. Oh, it was, I, I completely forgot that happened, you know. Bro, we actually got, when, and again, this is what I'm interested in. We know there are seven points in the mod where you're unable to control the, um, the text box. When are we, we have not reached a single one of those points yet. So I'm curious when that's going to happen, you know. Damn, that's tough, you know. Hey, missed opportunities, right? Damn, all right, MC's POV, exactly 430. Dude, this guy better fucking pay his bills. Hey, good, you know, good for him, right? Oh, so he was, that's hilarious. So he was thinking about literally doing the exact same thing. He's like, nah, I ain't doing that. You know, one time is enough, right? You know, damn what, you know. What did your mom teach you? Respect personal space. I mean, that's like a given, you know. And I will say, like, all right. Again, completely sidetracked, right? Again, obviously, you know, I'm older Gen Z, right? You know, and I do hate Gen Z who dog on Gen A because I think I associate them with the same Gen Z who'd suck up to millennials. But I do think there is an issue in fighting up and maybe millennial parents and Gen A kids, right? Because like, I'm, I also like, I'm not going to be the type of person to say, oh yeah, Gen A is cooked. We're fucked, right? You know, everyone else before them was good, but we're actually fucked now, right? That's not like, that's stupid. But, like, I think there's an issue with, like, parents not actually, like, teaching their kids, like, the big thing that I wish my parents taught me more was, like, more, again, of that, like, like, I wish my mom taught me how to cook more. I wish my dad taught me how to, like, do more, like, uh, do more, like, uh, male-coded things, I guess, whatever you call it, right, you know? Again, like, specifically stuff with, like, cars or, like, you know, more practical, like, stuff like that, right? You know, on, like, uh, the blue-collar end of things, right? Um... But again, I think there's an issue nowadays with like, you know, people teaching their kids like, uh, like, like personal space. Right? Like, I think it's like something to where, again, it's, it's, I don't even know if it's a tablet baby thing, or I think it's because people don't want to insinuate, you know, stuff like this with like the traditional like family unit or whatever you'd call, it, right? They don't want to teach like, I guess, what they would proceed to be 
traditional values or whatever because they, they're trying to move away from that right but like you're giving up some stuff like that you know the golden rule or like you know again personal space like those concepts right you know and that's why you're getting kids who like grow up and it's like oh you know it's almost like the inverse of boomers we're like boomers think the whole world revolves around them now it's like we're seeing that you know out of, out of like the younger end of my generation in gen a right but you know, again, I think my generation, like the older Gen Z was just like, again, we were just, you know, I, I wish I was taught more by my mom and my dad, but I think at least they did the bare minimum. So it set up a good baseline. Where, where am I going? All right. Because he needs to get groceries, right? That was the big thing, right? Dude, I was going to say, Wallace better be here. It's so and Oolong, you know, dude, fucking please lock in and get groceries. Like, holy shit. Holy shit, dude, please lie. Mr. Cashier Man, what the fuck? Dude, like, just literally tap your card and then you're good. Like, it isn't even like that much, you know? Dude, please, God. Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot. Dude, the fucking mo money order for bills. At least he's making progress on that front. Money order for bills is insane. I, I hate to say it. That's insane. Like, what year is this? Like, dude, please just upgrade and like pay that off of your debit card don't do fucking money orders for bills like dude your your parents need to get with the times like you know all right why did the music cut out you know damn what the fuck hello we going home or what like what's going on like Oh, I was going to say, like, I thought, you know, we were. Dude, please go. Oh, my God. And she's not here, right? You know. Dude, imagine Wallace is here. That crazy uh, development or whoever else, you know. Hey, that's pretty cool background, though. Not even going to lie, you know. Bitch manifesting? What the hell? That's cool and all, right? You know, damn, what the fuck? Like, you know... Yeah, that is kind of crazy, though. But... Alright, bro. Damn, yeah, I was going to say we get a lot of cool backgrounds, you know. Dude, I swear to God, if the MC's like lost or some shit, that would be pretty ridiculous, you know. Hello? What is this music? Our song promise. Dude, how many chapters? I actually have zero idea of the count. I do know supposedly there's seven instances where they have that auto... Um, Friday, October 18th, 6 or 2 a.m. Raymond's house. Getting ready for school. Like, you know, what what else? Uh damn, what the fuck? We in the living room? Oh, flashback, flashback time. Dude, freaking barrel roll. What the hell? You know, freaking Star Fox, you know. I never played uh Star Fox, by the way. Uh the only time I had interaction was when I played uh Smash Bros and all that like that series' of characters were in there. But I never actually played Star Fox. Yeah, that's like in the what what's the late hold on? What's the latest Star Fox game? Star Fox. Cause it it was before my time, right? You know, at least when it initially came out. All right, why is it fucking showing up comics, right? Because yeah, the very first one came out for the SNES, which is before. Who who was um but what was the latest game? You know, Star Fox game. Um, I just want to see the latest one. Holy shit. They they got a decent amount. Star Fox 93, 64, 97, Adventures 02, Assault 05, Command 06, uh, 64, 3D 11, Fox Guard 2016, Fox Zero uh, 2016, Star Fox 2 2017. So I guess 2017 was the most recent. That ain't too long ago. I mean, it's seven years, but it's like when you think of systems, I believe, when did the Switch come out? Because that might be for the Switch. I don't remember if the Switch came out in, um, like, 20... When did the fucking uh, Nintendo Switch? All right. Um, 
all right, I'm stupid. Let's just do switch release date. Release date. So was it actually in um bitch? Oh my god. Why can't I just go all right? It is in 2017. So that's probably what it was for then, you know. So yeah, on the most recent console. What did he break? Hello? Why are we going to black? A vase. Why are we getting such I was gonna say, like, you know, why are we getting such a vivid picture of this? You know? Damn, that's tough, you know. But also, like, dude, I got to be honest. Listen, you got to be bold, like, especially if you have an autistic kid. But even just kids in general, if you're going to have, like, expensive shit laying around the house, like, that's on you. Like, that's on you. Like, you know, uh, you, you, like, either put that shit up high, you know. Damn, she just manifested. Like, I was going to say, like, you know, what touch your shoulder? Freaking, like, JoJo's asking... I was going to say, I did, when I was younger, this was like, I think middle school. Yeah, like grade school. No, I think it was middle school. It was middle school. I broke one of the like air vents. They were on the ground. It's like the little, um, it wasn't even a metal one. It was a wooden one. The ones that, again, like you, you can like close and open. It's on the ground. And it has like the ventilation. I like accidentally stepped on it and just like fucking broke that shit, right? You know, and again, he's not hurt, right? But that's what I'm going to say. So, like, what happened? Because it seems like she cares for him, right? What happened between then and now, you know? Look at me, you know? But he's not. He's good, right? Yeah, like, that's good that he didn't, you know, try to, like, fucking, uh... But again, this and, and this is the issue. So this raises the question, what happened between the MC and his parents? Between that in the past and now, right? Like there's one of the, because here's what I'll say. I'd say one of the weakest aspects of just generally, you know, because I played, I think I did the math. I played like 30 plus at this point. One of the weakest aspects of mods are MC relationship with his parents, right? Like not because like if they just go the route of, oh, he doesn't have parents or they're just, if they're not a part of the mod, that's fine, right? You know, that's not really a factor. But when it comes to introducing parents and kind of giving backstory to, you know, his childhood, right? Because that's another factor you need to, you know, include, right? And develop. Like, again, it's just overall one of the weaker portions. Like, I, I think, you know, because what I'd say is, I, I think, I can't think of a single good mod that had a good MC parent portrayal. Because I think a big thing like Blue Skies is really the first one we played that had like a tangible like uh, character model for the MC's parents. I think that one was good in the sense where it's like she was a good figure, but there was like still zero context between like the divorce and anything that happened with that, right? You know, because um, which to be fair, I thought we were going to get... I definitely think we would have gotten more context on the Monica route had that come out, but obviously it didn't. Um, but I'm thinking more, even more recently, because like within, like it's a question of, you know, oh, what happened to like the MC? Like that was still something I was never answered. What happened to the MC's dad as well as not, like Natsuki's mom fled the country for like zero reason. At least like, again, literally unknown because Natsuki's dad was actually a good person in that month. And then for whatever reason, like, I don't even think it was that the MC's dad had passed. Lord knows, right? But again, it's a question of what happened between then and now, right? You go half and half. I was going to say, you know, oh, an allowance, you know. All right, you know, because I was going to say, yeah, I had allowance when I was a kid. I do like um, chores around the house, you know. It was mostly laundry. And then I'd get, like, allowance. Honestly, I never really spent that shit on anything, you know. But again, so our dude, I have to think that they're dead. Like, because I feel like that would be the only logical explanation, you know. Bitch, was it not just, like, 6 a.m.? I was going to say, what the hell, 647? Eleven fifty nine, bitch, lunchtime. You know, we haven't lunch with Yuri. Damn, what the fuck? All right, you know. To be fair, is he in like a... Because like, I feel like it'd be different if you're an autistic kid in like a regular class, you know. But like, 
again, the only like I just because even English and like language, like the my weaker classes, right? Like I still tolerated and did, you know, the work. Funny enough, I got I remember this. Sophomore year in high school, I got my grade bumped from a C to an A because I was literally the only guy doing Spanish homework. Like, or it was like me and like maybe one or two other people, but literally that's what bumped my grade up. You know, it was an EBR class. I also blame it on that, but you know, all right, dude, thank fucking God. He actually sorted out his bills. I was going to say he was about to just, where's Wallace? My boy Wallace, we're waiting for him. Where is he? You know, there we go. Ah, let's see what this man has to do. You know, why the fuck did the music pay? Bitch, what the hell is fucking uh G mod ass sound? You know, because that that it that literally is from G mod, right? Wallace, dude, I'm so dude, I'm so glad this guy's in the mod. Give me a few dot. Damn, fucking bitch, nine. What what year is this? Fucking old ass fucking bully scenario. What the hell? Like what year is this? Freaking, you know, Jesus Christ, like dude. Yeah, this is like how boomers envision like school bullying. Like, what the hell? You know, get, give me your lunch money, kid. You know, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. You know, yeah, he's like, I'm actually broke as shit, you know. Well, say, say you literally have no money. Like, you know, what the fuck? Reverse time, you know. Hello? Hello? You know. Think, think. Yeah, dude, literally fucking Omni-Man, you know. Damn, he's like, hey, my bad, bro. Like, you know, I was I was just short and changed myself, you know. Hold on, what, what do you say? You know, why not? Yeah, he's like, damn, why don't you got money? Like, you just not eating? Like, what the fuck, you know? Dude, what, can't, they cannot be using the fucking Gmod sound effect for this. What's going on here, you know? What the fuck, bitch, in the fucking background, you know? Damn, Wallace, you know. I was going to say freaking Wallace. Dude, this was because I'm, I'm remembering his character in the festival. Because the, the whole, con I mean, obviously it's different for this game. Because in the festival, she created his character as like, you know, a workaround to the whole like um, player thing. And then he ended up just like taking over the game, you know. I was going to say, damn, what the fuck? The ligament? You know, lick my balls? What the hell? You know, the bone. Just say, all right, that, all right, I'm not going to lie. That's actually, like, pretty fucking funny. I'm, I'm not, I, I don't even know how he came up with that on the spot. Dude, Wallace is actually a legend. Dude, that's what I'm going to say. I'm like, what the fuck? Where does the ligament? And I'm like, ah, yeah, that, you know. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck, you know. Yeah, it's like, what'd you just... Yeah, like, dude, we still standing here? Hello? You know, like, we gonna move... Like, seemingly, like, if he shouted, like, the whole hallway's just watching him. Like, we gonna, like, move along with our day? Like, you know, we uh we gonna, like... You, you're kind of into your own lunch period, dog, you know? Who the fuck is Kai? This isn't Kai from, uh... Obviously not Kai from Branching Pass. Lord, like, who the fuck is K? Like, we know, well, I guess we know who he is, but, like, what the fuck happened with them? Like, we literally have no idea their, like, backstory, you know? Uniquely-minded student, you know? Bruh, it's not even, like, come on, man. Like. Who, uh, bitch, like, yeah, the whole summoning the entire school to this hallway, you know. Damn, that's crazy, you know. Bitch, he just left? I was going to say, what the fuck? All right, bro, just like threw him across the entire hallway, you know. That, all right, dude, this is actually crazy. This is insane comments from him, right? Oh shit! Hold on, what? B bitch, what? I was gonna say, what fucking cartoon ass scenario? We're seeing your father grabbing him by his ear. 
what fucking dude what year i dude i feel like this game was made like fucking we have this old ass like give me your lunch money and then it's like oh your parents are gonna hear about this they grab his ear what the hell dude what the actual bro dude we got dude we we need a showdown between wallace and cop dude that's what i'm gonna say we we need to just start bringing fun if, if this is gonna be an all-out bro we just gotta bring everyone in you know Damn, dude, freaking caught up to him quick as fuck, you know. Dude, hello? We still... Dude, what is going on? This one... Can I please, like, you know... I think I might be retarded because I have no idea what this is insinuating. Dude, yeah, fucking what the actual fuck is going, dude, a cartoon ass scenario is like, oh, we're bringing you to your parents, you know. <laughs> Bitch, what the hell is going on, you know, you getting a flashback. And again, because she she didn't mean to catch any strays. Like she was literally just showing up, and she was like, "Damn, what's happening?" And then Wallace immediately like shifted his entire focus towards her. You know, the sixth bitch. What isn't it? Literally like August or September. Because again, but this is the first time the MC. This this that's the thing. Because obviously the MC has this vision of Yuri in his head, right? But the reality is that's not how most people see him. So, and again, like, ch ch chances are this is probably the first time Wallace has said anything, right? It's probably different people, you know. Kept count. Damn, what the fuck? Is this your whole ass backstory right now? Hello? We get a room? Like, damn, this is still going on, like, in the middle of the fucking hallway. Dude, that's why I'm like, dude, how has a faculty member not showed up yet? Like, Yeah, he's rec recalling that, right? Or recollecting that. Fuck this fucking stamp shit. Hello, are we gonna get to class? Like, is it not lunchtime? Like... Hello? Three oh one PM. They have one minute after class has got out. What is hilarious? So apparently Wallace's parents are the principal then, you know. Damn, what the fuck what the fuck? All right. Four eggs over hard stuff. Bitch breakfast fucking breakfast for lunch, you know. Why is it, I was going to say, what the fuck, why is it raining? Sl holy shit, slowest transition ever, you know. Yeah, because again, you know, she was literally uh, there, right, you know.
He won't be. Yeah, dude. His dad's in the prison, dude. That, that I can see it, dude. That was such a cartoon scenario. It's like you're going to see your dad grabs him by his ear. Like, what the hell? Dude, his dad's probably like, oh, Wallace, you know, and like crosses his arms and like shakes his head or some shit like that, right? It's like, oh, Jesus, you know. Dude, I swear to God, lock the fuck in, bro. What? He was literally just at his locker. Like, that's why I'm like, you know. And again, him. Well, but that. All right. Well, she didn't even, you didn't even say that, right? Like, I was going to say, like, you don't need to be like, oh, well, let me just uh, say, it. like, you know. Bitch, what the fuck? Like, what? Who's behind us, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, who the fuck's. Because I was going to say, like, you know, I mean, maybe it's because, like, you know, it's because obviously, because I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, Yuri probably didn't want Monica to know that, you know, she didn't really, like, have a friend group to eat lunch with, right? Because I feel like that's a pretty taboo thing in high school. Again, after high school, it doesn't really matter. But in high school, it's like, it's pretty taboo, right? So, like, you know... And then also, like, again, the fact that, like, he's just kind of revealing that information like that, you know. Because I thought the MC was going to bring up, you know, about how, like, she said he was special needs, you know. Wrong. Dude, you had to fucking specify that was you. Who else would it be? Like... Well, it's because, you know, that's where Wallace is, right? I was also going to say, like, you know, I mean... Because chances, dude, the funniest thing, imagine Walsh just literally has an assigned locker right like right next to him, and that's like solely the reason this happened. Like, it's not even you're talking to me, just, you know, <laughs> that's how he actually fucking like found that out, you know. She asked, you know. I've, like, granted, you know, maybe it's because, again, he revealed that, you know, they kind of ate alone and like she didn't really have a, a group to eat lunch with, right? Like, because, like, I feel like it's not crazy to talk about, like, oh, you know, this stuff. Like, that isn't a crazy concept, right? You know, again, like, yeah. I mean, that's why I said, you know, again, because that's probably what it is. But it's also, like, that it's the issue of, like, all right, you know, unless Yuri has a grudge with Monica, which we haven't kind of gotten out of this yet, it hasn't taken the Paul and Angel approach. There'd be, like, no reason not to, like, Again, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, all right, if it was Natsuki, maybe that's a different story. But, you know, Sayori would be a better bet. But. Because, yeah, I mean, she's friends with them, you know. I mean, also that, you know. And even like, dude, I, I rarely used my locker in high school. Like, again, that was more of a male school thing because I had like a trapper with all my. um. What would you call it? Um, with all my, uh, like, all my, like, classwork in it. But, like, in high school, I just had everything in my backpack. I literally only used my locker to store my duffel bag. And that was, like, that was only, like, junior, senior year when I had eighth period free. Like, you know, I didn't do that any other year, so...
Why are you smiling so damn? What the fuck? You know, dude, dude, bro, dude, the numbers, the numbers, what do they mean? Like, hey, at least you know, she got the uh, the correct amount of water, you know. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, two squared, four, three cubed, 27. That's 31. You know, that's gotta be 31, right? 31st, you know. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. I could have just seen the ST. All right, whatever. You know. Where else are you going? You know, like, When, I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't read that, you know. Good, but again, it's it's her own self-doubt, right? Bruh, holy shit, you know. All right, but this isn't like, um, what would you call it? Uh, which mod was the MC a genius? Was that Snafu? No, I think that was, um, which, which fucking mod was that? I, I don't, it, maybe it was Snafu? Because it was the one where, no, that I think that may have been, um, not Downpour. Downpour, he was kind of a prodigy, though. Um, it may have been Snafu, you know? Hello, flashbacks, you know. And honestly, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this here. We're at a good, uh, again, I think the thing I'm most curious about at this point is Again, we have some of these side moves. So it seems like the, the game's really focusing on um, the MC and Yuri at this point. Not a bad thing, right? Like, not by far. And they're definitely setting up towards, you know, like a, a relationship, right? You know? And, and again, the, the relation between, obviously, the MC's autism, you know, and Yuri's uh, just, again, like, uh, for, like, anxiety, right? I, I'm curious about what, because I they're not going to go for all of them. Right, but we do have some interesting side plot points that can be tackled. Right, I think it, one that I is, I know for certain is not is the uh, MC in the anime club in Sayori like relation to that. That is not I guarantee that is not going to be a thing. What is more interesting is again you know, and then you also got stuff like well one thing I think unfortunately isn't also going to get tackled is like. The MC's Paris, right? I'm thinking they're just gonna, it's gonna be like, oh, they're dead, like, or, you know, something. Maybe they just solely, like, it, it doesn't seem like we're getting an answer to that, right? Um, at least as of now. We have had those, which again is what's been interesting, but it's like, you know, the fact that it was never like explained isn't really a good, good sign. I think one that has more potential is again what the kind of Natsuki, you know, um, the Natsuki like plot line, right? Or, you know, kind of what's going on with her, you know, and her role placing the plot, right? Because that's something to where, you know, um, again, given that this is a Yuri centric mod, what happens there, right? Um, and then I think the whole Monica wall, like that's that's just like all right, that was just a cartoony like that's not gonna be like a serious thing. Like this is gonna be like Outcast where they like what was it? And the the bully and Outcast, they ended up revealing that they were like like they had an older sibling or like what what was the the story? Like that their parents passed or something, and that you know Yuri was like a reminder of that. I don't even remember how that played out. But you know, again, that's that's something to where it's like. We have some decent side story potential. I'm curious which ones the game is going to pursue, right? 
again, I, but also like, I think the reality is that they're not, it's not going to be all of them. And I guess I'm, I'm trying to, trying to think, you know, again, I'm curious as to what the next mod I'm going to play will be. Right. Uh, well, I actually am stupid. I have the list, right. Let me pull it up because again, it's like, you know, I, I'm liking this mod so far. Right. And I'm, I'm very curious where it is going to go um, from here on out though. Right. But again, so what what is the next one that I have on the list? Cloudy Reality Plot. I was thinking of replaying through some more mods. Um, because so far we've only replayed through three. We've replayed through a brand new day that was in twenty twenty two. Um, no, that was in like winter of twenty one. We replayed through New Eyes that was summer of twenty two. And we replayed through Long Roads, and that was just earlier this year. Um, I don't know. I, I think I focus on doing newer mods, because those were all very specific. I replayed through Brand New Day and New Eyes, because I didn't have any new mods on the list, right? Um, I replayed through Longer Roads, because, again, you know, that was kind of a post uh, Blue Skies, and just, again, you know, seeing if it held up. I don't think I'm going to replay through any more mods, but what I will say is I'm very heavily debating dropping Yik. I just don't want to deal with that game. Um, again, I think I got, I may do a black screen on it. Um, but again, like, I think I got what I'm going to get out of it for like a replay through, like, even though it's like four parts in, but I, I just really, but again, we'll see. That's irrelevant to this. We're going to continue on um, in the next one, right? But with that, don't have anything else to say. So, yep. See you for this one. See you in the next one.